Well, hey guys, back to the Zero to Hero series here on Elite Dangerous. Episode 4. Wow, we're down here in Gamma Gateway in Ross 775, which was a home to me for a long time in my previous playthrough. And welcome to the Federation. Now, why are we down here, do you ask? Well, I've decided. I've gotten some cash, I've upgraded my ship, it's mostly a B-graded Cobra now. I've got about 3 million cash on me from a couple of bounty hunting trips. What I'm going to be doing today... See, I want to go back to Sol. I want to go to Earth, and it turns out we need a little troublesome thing like a Sol permit. How do I get one of those? Well, pretty simple. Gaining rank with factions. That's today's job. We can go up here to the starport services, and we can go to the mission board. Now, theoretically, I could go to any faction that's got a lovely little federation symbol on them. Like this one, and I could do that multi-part job. Or I could go to them, and I could go and hump rocks, or deliver some evacuation shelters. Now, that's all well and good. And that's not terrible money. However... Actually, you know what? I am going to do that one. Boom time delivery, 12 units evacuation shelters, 186 grand. Easy. Nice and easy job. And that's going to Watson Port. It's possibly planetary, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Okay. We'll take that job. Now, we'll note that our Federation rank here is currently non-44%. Okay? So, we're going to launch, and we're going to head off to our destination, which is... Galaxy map. Here. Nice and easy. Plot our route. And time to scoot. That rhymed. Alright, let's boot it out of here. And we're going to roll around to the right direction. And we're going to take off. Here we go. So it's looking like two jumps, not a big deal. We'll do this job and we'll see what our non and 44% changes to. Now this is the standard way of ranking up with different factions. You can do it with the Empire. There's no point doing it with the Alliance, there's nothing to be gained. Of course, if you want those sweet, sweet Federal and Imperial ships, you got to work for it. So in this case, it requires a bit of legwork. Now these are the kind of standard ways of doing it. Now. There are shortcuts, which we'll discuss in a moment once we drop this off. In fact, we'll be doing one of them today. Uh, on the Imperial side, there are various locations and missions you can do things. Um, typically places... Donations are probably one of the easiest methods to gain rank, okay? I mean, this does not look like the system I'm looking for. Let's ping this shit while we're here. Oh god. Nah, nope. Frickin' white dwarfs. Um, let's have a look at this. Open galaxy map. Did we even select the right system? No, we <laughs> picked one below it. Smooth, yeah. Professional for a video. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do one and shoot off to Ross 761. 671 even. And we're gonna go and deliver these evacuation shelters. Now, there are basically donations are the way to go in terms of ranking it quickly. Now, that can cost a lot of money. Now, there is... Things have been changed a bit and patched up a bit, but it still works. And, of course, you can do that for the Imperials. QBO is a great place because you tend to get loads of donation missions for the Empire down there. And you also get nice easy one which is skimmer jobs which tend to work okay this is not planetary cool um skimmer jobs work and for the federation there are several locations where the same thing works and one of those is a place called tun and a station called tun's wart now we'll show you what we do in a minute when we get there of how that works it's a nice quick 50 light year jump and now this cobra's upgraded that's not too far away at all oh god coming in hot 
I'm going to go and do a loop machine again during a video, which is going to look fantastic. I am such a good commander that pays attention to her surroundings. Yep. Paying attention, my number one skill. It's mostly laziness. I just don't look at the damn screen when I'm like, oh yeah, I probably should slow down. No. I don't think about these things, because I'm an idiot. Um, that, I'm not used to how this thing handles in Super Cruise. I'm used to things like the freaking Corvette, which takes three months to slow down or speed up, so yeah, pretty much good. You point it at the damn place you're going and just press go. Alright, let's get docked in here, and we'll head our way to Tun and look at Federal Rank. No shit, weapon fire restrictions. Let's have some fun, shall we? Okay, this is actually reasonably difficult. Especially in a skittish little ship like this. Um, and these little thrusters don't do shit. Okay. Okay, like helicopter flying, the bigger the ship, the easier it is to fly flight assist off. Screw that. Um, yeah. Just like helicopters, the bigger it is, the easier it is, because its mass and momentum is so much lower. I haven't flight assist off Dr. Cobra in a while. I'd have to practice that one. Let's just get her down here and reduce my embarrassment from this video so far of me trying to be cocky and show off and making all sorts of newbie mistakes. So it's perfect for a Zero to Hero playthrough with me trying to show you guys hints and tips, of course. Not. Okay, so we're here at Watson Port and we're going to drop off our assignment. Landing successful. Ship secured. Welcome, Commander. Cool. So. Getting some rep. That's the menu. We don't want to go there. Alright, let's look at what we've got here. We were 44% and now we are 47. 3%. Not a lot. So we'll gas up and we'll repair from bonking the damn dock. And we're going to plot our course whilst we attend the surface. Galaxy map. Now I know what the system is, so I'm just going to type it in. That's Tango Uniform November, so ton. Plot our route, it's 49 light years away. We are going to absolutely just shoot off over there now. See how easy it is once you just set yourself to the surface? Uh, that's an orca. Nope. Alright, let's get off here. So basically, donations look pointless. They can help tip things, but they can be expensive. It all depends, frankly, on what it is and where you're going and how much it is. They used to be a lot less. They are more expensive now, so it can be a pricey route, but if you can make cash quickly, it's a nice, simple way. And they tend to give bigger boosts than not, so it does all depend. Engage. <laughs> that wasn't even in sync on my end, never mind after the editing. Uh, but yes, um, I'm having a lot of fun actually with this. It's really enjoyable to be back in this ship. Honestly, bounty hunting is hard. I was out with a friend in a vulture and we still had to pick our fights. It's weird being the weak one. I'm so used to just rolling into res sites and smashing things to pieces. It's so easy. Now, it's super hard. I actually have to concentrate and I'm enjoying it. This game is challenging again. For those of you who are debating the choice of resetting or having a second account, I 40 quid, I seriously recommend a second account. You know, it's on sale fairly often and it supports developers which is great especially with a game like frontiers elite uh because they are a great developer um it gives you some freedom to try things you didn't try before take pathways you didn't take before and whilst a multiple save thing would be nice this gives it a bit more permanence you know it's a real decision to go and start from zero and you know if you don't want to reset like i say buy a second account there's literally no negatives other than a little bit of money. It's not like you're paying subscriptions, which is one of the things I love about Elite Dangerous is this is not a subscription-based game. 
this is a one-time purchase. And for a game that is essentially a massive multiplayer online game, that ain't bad, really. You pay 60 bucks, uh, about 40 pounds for Elite and then the expansion pack Horizons. You got the whole thing forever. Yeah, maybe there'll be a season three pass or season four, whatever, but that's not a huge amount, is it? That's like, not much. I'm trying to think of a monthly breakdown. For four dollars a month, maybe? That's nothing. So, if you're not sure, try it. Honestly, get a second account, try it out. If you don't want to do it on your main account, fine, you know? It's great that way that you can basically build a good exploration ship in your main, go off to the far reaches of the galaxy that you wanted to try on your main account, and in your secondary, you can go and do the basic stuff again and enjoy the game from the basic stages of it, which is hugely rewarding. Um, it's reminding me of things, it's making me a better pilot, it's making my combat skills far more attuned, and it's a really nice challenge again to go back to this beginning point and I can take a different pathway now I can try things I didn't do before I can go down different ship pathways in fact I'm going to um, I'm gonna head to the vulture as a pathway I'm gonna probably head to the federal assault ship as a pathway ships I didn't use before because I tried them I didn't really like them so I stopped whereas now I don't see a reason not to seems like a good idea Heck, a federal gunship with some engineered thrusters to make it not a fucking tugboat when you're actually uh, maneuvering would probably be great. Here we go, tons of war. Head ourselves over here. And we will head into dock. Now, there is a trick with donations. You'll basically be able to cycle in and out of them. I'll show you that in a moment. Um, I don't have a lot of cash. Because I only have about 300... 3 million, sorry. Yeah, 3.2 million. What's our statistics? So I've had a total assets of 6 million. It's not a lot. I've got 3.2 in cash. I don't want to use all of this. But I'll do a couple of donations to show you the principle. I'm probably not going to focus too much on it now. Because as much as I want to go to Seoul, I'll probably spend some time myself grinding missions to do that. It takes longer. But it makes you money that's cheaper. So, theoretically, gaining Fed rank is actually a profitable experience. You know, you will take missions, it will take time, but you'll make money out of it. As long as you don't do the donation route. If you have lots of money when you go and do it, like I did the first time by, and donations were actually cheaper then, it was easy. It was like, okay, I just want to rank up. Bum, 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 done. Whereas now, it does require a bit of work. But, hey, that's a good thing on Frontier's part. They made it less click to play, you know? But then again, I made a lot of my money back in the old power, the, well, the kind of first wave of power play, back when it was popular, and not broken as fuck after 3.2. And I was rank five with Hudson, and I made buku money because we had the 100% bounty hunting bonus for rank five, and I spent hours in rest sites, and I'd come out with $10 million uh, credits even after an hour or two in a bounty hunting site with the bonus it was insane and that was my anaconda back in those days in fact no I started at a python at rank 5 and I actually got the anaconda there and then I got the corvette as well I earned that much money so it was really good okay and we're coming in pad 1 they like us let's bring it in here No, overshooting. That's a pillory thing. Yeah, I'm showing fantastic examples of flying, aren't I, in this episode? I think I must be drunk or something. Maintain correct course, Commander. Where's pad one? Oh yeah, see the little indicator on my right? On the left, even, but next to the station symbol? Oh, notice the hollow symbol? Watch this. I'm going to keep turning until I put this solid circle. Oh look, pad one. Yeah, when you go inside a station, that icon which shows you where a jump point is or a target. Oh my god, really? I must be freaking high. Attention, Commander. Landing gear not deployed. I am flying like a complete idiot today. Ugh, too much lavian brandy. 
But yeah, that shows you where your pad is inside a big station. Never fly on YouTube. Bad combination. Okay, so we're in here. We're going to the mission board. So. What do we have? Um, it would be my luck. Sod all. Ah. Federal system. Donation. And here is another one. That's an expensive one, but we'll try it because it's bigger it is, the more you get. Well, we're back. <laughs> yeah, you're very lucky because um, my internet dropped out partway through this, and because even though Elite Dangerous when you're in solo mode is still online technically, it's referencing the global database on prices and ranks and things across the galaxy and uh, factions and positions. It's all affected by everybody. So even in solo play, the actual economy is still multiplayer, which is actually fantastic. But unfortunately means when your net goes potato, the game goes, Pfft. yeah. So we are back here at Tun's Wart. Um, and I'll actually get to show you what I was planning to show you, finally. Hopefully it stays on long enough. Mission board. Okay, so, uh, hmm, donate stuff. They take effort, nope. Um, Da, 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 da. Scan job. Don't want a scan job. Donate cash. Accept. That's expensive, but it'll give me a good boost. Uh, what have we got here? Nothing there. This is not a Federation one, so it's irrelevant. This one is... Okay. So I have two missions. So I should be able to go to the mission board and actually hand in the missions. So... I donate and I donate. We were on 47% weren't we? So that's me spending quite a bit of credits but bada bing bada boom 44 to 67. See what I mean? Now here's the trick. Save and exit to main menu. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Start. Private group. Me, I have no friends at this point. And we load back in again. <gasps> Let's refresh the mission board. This is a great trick, by the way, when you're trading and can't find any good missions. Cycle instances. It's online, uh, sorry, open play, groups, and this. See? And we've got this. We've got this. Uh, I may just get unlucky and not find a good... Uh, uh, haha. <laughs> not Federation. Not going to help us, see? No symbol. Uh, sure, why not? Your federation. Donate to help the cause. Let's donate to help the cause. And I heard a ding in the background. All the swishes and dings. What is this? Oh, that's a reputation change. And we are now on 85%. And that's all the missions from that instance. So we log out. You know this step. Start. Open play. And once we get in, follow exactly the same system. Mission board. <laughs> nothing of interest. Da -da 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 -da, nothing of interest. I'm sensing a definite pattern of nothing of interest. Federation, deliveries, this part is the one that gave the donation stuff. Okay, so you cycle through basically and in fact I'm even going to go back to solo now and we'll do just that. Probably won't have had anything yet, it takes about 10 minutes to cycle an instance basically, so you've got to be careful. Or remember that at least I should say. But anyway, we are going to go through now and we'll just do one last check through just in case there's anything. I'm planning to do most of the rest. There we go. I'm planning to do most of the rest of my missions by actually doing missions, because that'll be far more. Bing! I heard a bong. 
Oh, what is this? Oh no, bloody reputation change. Great, don't care. I look here, 96%, so I need one more basically at this stage. Mission board, go to them. Lots of mass commissions, those are profitable. Especially if you can find a place with skimmers where they can be spawned and you can just basically stack that shit. Those are fantastic. Okay, so we haven't got any more, which is really depressing. I actually wanted to reach that kind of point. Those are all intergalactic fighter fleet ferret. Intergalactic fighter ferret force ships. That's awesome. I'm going to have to take a bunch of these in a minute. Stack this crap. But either way, you know, we see these uh, are all for that sort of thing. So I'm probably just going to skip those and do one last cycle into group. And maybe we get one more mission. I'm 4% off. It's not a huge margin. But I kind of want to do it in a video. That would make much more fun. So we'll go to the private group. You can also cycle between different groups you have as well, which is the same thing as a whole new instance. Let's see if it gives us one. We just want one. Uh, follow on missions. Don't really want to follow that one on. Land enrichment supplies. You could do those, but they, again, you need to bring the stuff. Which requires effort, frankly. And we don't do effort here. Donate. There we go. Bingo. And we are going to hear a swoosh. Well, we should have heard a swoosh. Really? <laughs> okay, so not the swoosh we wanted, okay? But it's a swoosh. And this is basically a nice simple method to get yourself into a position where you can now rank up. Of course, it does take money. It does take some time. But you can do it other ways as well. So this is a quick way of doing it in terms of gaining rank. This will, after a couple of levels, will unlock me the soul pass. But as you saw, that just cost me a million to go basically up a rank. It's gotten more expensive now, but it's possible. Okay, now you can do missions. Fantastic. Nice and easy. And it becomes a lot of a simpler process, which is really good to, to hear. And this makes the game... It unlocks the kind of meta of the game, if you will. It unlocks the kind of the method behind the madness. There are ways of doing things that are much easier. So this is basically how you can go up federal rank quickly. Um, works with Imperial in their systems. And you're in a position now where you can earn some credits. I have to go back and do more bounty hunting to make more of mine. But hopefully this was useful and it showed you some ways around the system. By the way, a quick little tip for open play. I just press Control F and Control B. Control B opens my bandwidth, Control F my frame rate. Frame rate is irrelevant, but bandwidth is good. You get a large boost in your receive packets. Mine are at zero because I'm in a solo session. You get a large boost in your receive packets when you're flying around in the system. There's a player in there with you. You can't tell where they are or what they are. Think of it as a directionless long-range scanner. But if I fly around in open play, I always have control B open. That way, if I jump into a system and I see a huge number, a couple of thousand, I know that there is a player in that system, so I can be on my toes. Typically, I'll fight them, but at the same time, it's just a good early warning. That way, you know to look for someone. Know to kind of keep your eye on the scanner. Little tip, but hopefully useful. Either way, hopefully this video has been helpful, guys, and we are still progressing on our journey with the orchid. In fact, let's have a look at her in outfitting now. As I said, we're mostly B graded now. Nearly heading there for the full spec we wanted. And uh, we're getting there. So hopefully, yeah, we'll look forward to episode five of the journey and uh, things could be fun in the near future. I'll be upgrading ships soon probably because all right the orchid but you know what there are other ships i'd like to spend a lot of time in and not a cobra i miss having teeth anyway thanks for watching guys have a good one and goodbye